first one is we're going to talk about is just round robin. Basically, I do this in my classroom. I um, a teacher assigns a topic. So basically, the topic you've been talking on. The one that we kind of focused on for these two sections is teeth. So that's what we're going to be talking about here. Your teeth that you eat with. Um, what I do is uh, the teacher poses a topic. So I told you it's going to be about teeth. The day before, you probably need to engage them, you know, read them a book, show them a, a video clip or something if, to get gain them more prior knowledge about teeth. Uh, next thing, I put my group, my class in teams, but you don't necessarily have to have the desks together as I do. And I have this in their basket, and this is a mat. And basically, what this is is it just it's an organized way, and I'll say, okay, pull out your mat. And number four is you're going to start today, and you're going to talk about teeth, and then y'all are going to go around the circle as many times until I say time's up. I also have these in their baskets as well. They are a lot. The since number four was going to start, he has to get this. He or she has to get this out. What this is is this is the talking tool. Only that person can talk whoever has it in their hand. So you don't have everybody talking at one time. Um, this right here, what this strategy does, it basically helps promote social skills, helps them to actively listen to each other because we try not to repeat what another person says, take turns and respect other people's opinions. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and if anybody wants to start off, everybody's going to share one thing they know about teeth, learned about teeth, you know, we all have teeth, you know, anything you want to share about teeth. We also kind of put a time limit on there. We kind of say, you can share one thing, you can share several things, but we kind of keep it around 30 seconds so that everybody gets to share. Uh, who, anybody want to volunteer and start off? All right, thank you. I can tell you root canals hurt. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't brush your teeth, you get cavities. You know? Right. <laughs> if you drink a lot of acidic drinks, you will mess up your enamel. Good. If you get hit in the face with a discus, it causes the whole tooth from the root co covering out to fall out. <laughs> They're expensive to replace. <laughs> Very good. So you all, you know, had definitely valid points about teeth. Now, um, Another way you could do this is you could take this a step further and on the very back of that sheet, this one, this strategy now is called All Right Round Robin. It's on the very back of the stick of the ticket page. What that is is just taking it a step further. What we did is like, like I said, y'all are my team or y'all are my group. And what we would do is basically the same thing. The teacher pro, uh, says what topic you're gonna to talk about. We talked about teeth. Then the students have to write down the answer. So everything you said, I would have wrote it down, just as you would have wrote it down. And that way you have that physical evidence to show that they're really doing you know, what they're supposed to be doing and hopefully on topic. Hopefully you'll have time where you can go two or three times around and then you'll have a pretty long list. After that, everybody comes back as a whole class. Then what you do is you might call for a volunteer. Who would like to say the, with their list of items that they had? Uh, so he or she'll stand up and go ahead and read out their list of items, you know, uh, has, needs to go visit the dentist two, ti two times a year, you know, just go ahead and read out your list. Now there might be some things I don't have on my list that that other person mentioned, so I'm going to go ahead and write it down. If I do have that stuff on my list, then I'll just go ahead and check it off. So it's kind of like a check system, or you can still add it on there. So that's just one way to just go ahead and get that physical physical evidence to show that they're really working on what they're supposed to be doing. Um, like I said, if you decide not to have these because they might be cause a distraction, or if you don't want to pass something around, you can always have the student stand up. So that can, that can show too. Um, some ways that people suggested to use this, some people talked about like writing prompts, going ahead and brainstorming writing prompts. Some people talked about like beginning, middle and end, um, having, talking about the book. Some people talked about social studies, maybe a certain time period like the 1700s, discuss what happened in that time frame. You know, just different things like that.